Good afternoon, Stormers. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Isaac. And today is Wednesday, February 11th, and it's day one. This is the last week to apply for next year's media career or yearbook staff. If you are a creative person who likes to explore technology, these are the classes for you to sign up for next year. Visit cusc80.com slash sjhs tech for more information. Or see Mr. Creighton in room 63 for your for more information. I thought things would change when I found the others. We'd stop running, we'd fight the Mahogadors, and we would win. But I was wrong. Even though we found we came together, we barely escaped from the Mahogadors with our lives. And we are hiding, trying to figure out our next move. The six of us are powerful, but we are not yet strong. Even strong enough to take on the entire army. Read Pekakas Lore's Fall of Five today. After years of being their prisoner, I am finally free. The world looks the same, but underneath, so much has changed. The children I was supposed to help protect are now the ones leading the fight. Out of the original nine, there are only six left. I never meant for my son Sam to get caught up in any of this. While I was gone, Sam befriended number four, whom everyone calls John. And John has fallen in love with a human girl, Sarah. Like Sam, she is committed to helping the guard at any cost. Sam has also grown close to another one of the guard, number six, the warrior girl who's already escaped from the Mogs once. Like six, Nine was held captive by the Mogs and escaped with John's help. Ever since, Nine has been consumed with getting his revenge. Seven and Eight feel so different from the others, but they have made a strong connection with each other. The youngest of the guard, Ella, was a surprise to me. I was told there would only be Nine. How does she fit into this puzzle? I wish we knew it was tormenting her. And number five? Five was the last of the guards still on the run, but now they have found him. I'm teaching the guard everything I can remember. They are training and getting stronger every day, but I wonder, are they truly ready for the war ahead? Now it's time for the random fact of the day. 25 years ago today, Nelson Mandela was released from the Victor Verster prison outside Cape Town, South Africa, after 27 years of, as a political prisoner. Mandela was in prison because of his leadership in the movement against racist aphrodite policies in South Africa, but became the first ever black president of South Africa four years after his release of prison. For today's showmers, please stand for a pledge, will you just fall by a moment of silence?